Welcome to North Carolina Weekend, I'm Deborah Holt-Noel. North Carolina has a rich quilting tradition, and in this week's Collecting Carolina, Julia Carpenter explores our state's woven legacy. Cloth is one of the first items to be recycled, restored, and reused. And decorating cloth by hand is a skilled and treasured craft. To learn about North Carolina early works, we visit the Museum of Early Southern Decorative Arts in Old Salem. Hello, Jenny. Hello, Julia. Welcome to Master. Would you like some gloves? I think I'm going to need them. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about bed coverings in the 18th and 19th century. Well, in North Carolina in the 18th and 19th century, soft furnishings in the home would include quilts, woven coverlets and counterpanes. Let's start with woven counterpanes first. Can you tell us about this one? Yes, absolutely. A counterpane, just most simply defined, is a single layer um, of, of material with needlework embellishments and typically it's going to be white. This is an outstanding example of a counterpane uh, made in Bertie County, Eastern North Carolina by Polly Armistead when she was only 16 years old. Now let me show you an early North Carolina quilt. This is going to be a chintz applique design where they used imported English chintz fabrics, applied them to a cotton ground. Now what's the date of this? This is gonna be around 1825 to 1835 and it's from Burke County, North Carolina. And this magnificent piece, when was this made? We're moving into the mid 19th century and quilt forms are gonna change a little bit using very bright, vibrant fabrics. This is a Piedmont, North Carolina quilt featuring a beautiful princess feather design. I'd love to show you more quilts and bed coverings, so let's go to the Shelton House in Waynesville. The historic Shelton House is home to the Museum of North Carolina Handicrafts. It was built in 1875 and is full of antiques, furniture and over 50 historic quilts and coverlets, dating from 1830 to 2010. In addition to our quilts and coverlets, we have Seagrove pottery, Brasstown wood carvings, Cherokee and sweetgrass and pine needle basketry, and we have important Navajo weavings and silver jewelry. Suzanne, this is a beautiful princess feather design. Can you tell me a little bit about it? This is a very popular design from the 19th century. This was made about 1880 and given to a local minister by his congregation in Burke County. Well, it is lovely. And this is a great pieced quilt. This quilt was made by a 12-year-old girl in 1855 from Washington County and was lovingly preserved. Fabric is the most fragile of antiques. Subject to the ravages of time, use, insects, and damp, few items survive. This is a log cabin pieced quilt. In the center is a red square fabric, and around it are constructed the logs. High Country Quilters is a, a community group of quilters, women that get together sometimes once a month, sometimes more often. Usually in every community there are several quilting groups mm -hmm. and this group that we have with us today uh, makes quilts to donate to various organizations. Over 90% of the quilts that quilters make are given away and many have told me that it's like giving a hug. You're presenting somebody with something that special. These quilts are a sample of the over 100 quilts that the High Country Quilt Guild will lovingly make for the USO Wounded Warrior Project. Made with love and given with a hug. Quilters meet up all over our state and continue the time-honored craft of creating something for others. For North Carolina Weekend and Collecting Carolina, I'm Julia Carpenter. The Museum of North Carolina Handicrafts is located in the historic Shelton House in Waynesville, and it's open May through October. Call 828-452-1551 for information or visit their website at sheltonhouse.org. For more information on this series, Collecting Carolina, go to our website, unctv.org slash ncweekend slash collecting, and our series partners at mezda.org.